hello and welcome to this video um, in this video I just want to demonstrate the control engineering iLab um, particularly the transient response or the transient analysis of a DC motor experiment so I'll click on this um, link and it will bring me to this page again if you are interested in information on how to perform the robotic um, iLab um, I lab experiments or use um, robotic arm iLab and there's a video on YouTube which you could watch and if you're just interested on how to perform interactive experiments there's another video which we could watch so I'll click on today's date 11th of October 2011 a pop-up comes if you have a pop-up blocker you'll need to um, turn off the pop-up blocker or um, tell it not to block pop-ups from this site so um, I'll click on the time here see nine minutes that should be good enough so i'll make a reservation for nine minutes and i'll close this window i'll scroll down and redeem this reservation because the current time on my computer is 5 59 pm so that's the time this um, reservation starts so i can redeem this so i'll click on redeem reservation and it brings me to this page Okay, so now I can launch lab or I could go back to remove the reservation or schedule a different time. Now I'll launch the lab. Once I click on launch lab, it may take a few minutes um, to load the lab view client. And while it is doing that, it may take one or two minutes actually. While it is loading that though, okay, it's, it's done loading the, the client, but I'll just click on okay. And to just say that the clients were developed using LabVIEW 8.6, that's what we have up here, LabVIEW 8.6. So you'll need to have the runtime for LabVIEW 8.6 installed on your computer. Um, just in case you don't have it already, you could get to National Instruments um, homepage, and you could get the National Instruments homepage and um, and look for and search for it. Or optionally, you could download it from our servers here from OU's. Um, servers and the url or the um, a, the ip address which you could use to download it from our servers is 62.173.43.101 slash robotics lab yes that's actually the page which has the documentation for the robotics lab but once you get to this page if you scroll down and um, towards the bottom you'll find the runtime okay you have the minimal runtime for lavi 8.6 and you have the standard runtime for lavi 8.6 so if you, you could just download it um, from there but well i have it installed already okay so these are lab these are clients which will be using for this experiment now it's lab view so to run this experiment there's a button this arrow at the top left of the screen says run so i'll click on that and the experiment is now running now when it starts running um initially if you notice the red uh, the blue is what the um, position or what the speed of the motor ought to be of the dc motor this is what the speed of dc motor ought to be but the red is the actual speed of the motor at present okay the red is the actual speed of the motor the blue is what it ought to be um now the the um the, the voltage you are sending in the frequency the offset all of this will not be sent to the motor until you click on this button here which says start control of motor once you click on that then your uh, motor will now respond and so we see the way in which the um, robotic arm the sorry the dc motor is responding um i apologize for this slight delay i think i'm running some programs on my computer and so that's um, um, affecting the network somewhat and so it doesn't seem to be running as smooth as it ought to but i could change this frequency say to 0 0.3 and we'll see um, in a moment once this page refreshes how that affects um the motion now the this talks about the dc tr dc motor transient analysis now if you use the step step responses of systems you see that this is actually the step response of a system and this looks like a first order response or an overdamped response I, th I think it looks more like a first order response so it could also be a critically damped response but i think this is more of a first order response looking at this you could tell the time constant of this experiment okay we could tell the time constant of, th of this um, response rather for the time constant of this response um we know what voltage we're sending in we're sending a voltage an amplitude of two we're sending an amplitude of two volts 
and the speed is somewhere um, close to 75 say about 70 radians per second and so you could tell um, the gain okay you could tell the gain of the system by the way you could pause uh, okay uh, sorry about this but I guess we're having some problem with we're having some connectivity problems at present but I'll go back here and let me just try to get back into the experiment just in case that happens to you you could just come here and once again redeem um, the reservation just get back into the lab I'll click on OK and it should download it again in a way it's good that this is happening so that um, just in case it happens to you you know exactly what to do okay so we're back in there and this time now we see it's responding okay so this is the actual speed this guy tells you the actual speed um, per unit time and we notice the frequency changing again I'll change my frequency just so that we see how things and um, play out we see that um, the period is now a lot longer because I've reduced the frequency okay but the idea is that you could always um, check the step response of the system by for instance if I plot if I pause the plot at this point okay it is paused and so I can um, take any measurements I want to take and I could determine the system characteristics so some perform some experiments which you could perform with this you could check take step response you could do system identification to get the um, transfer function of this system um, if we change this okay let me start display if we change this for instance to a um, triangular um, wave the signal type a triangular wave instead of being a um, step instead of being a um, what's called a square wave as we had before then we see some interesting response and uh, i don't know if i should say this on this video it could be something like a an expo but as an instructor you could ask the students why do we have this response on the motor instead of it being a straight line that goes through zero we have something here and that is something which will be very useful and the students ought to be able to tell why we have um, this flat region over here, but I will not say why we have the flat region over here. But this just shows us some experiments which are perform which are possible with this um um with this experiment or in this experiment. So when you're done, you could just click on exit. Okay, I'll click on this button. I'll stop controlling the motor, and then I'll click on exit. And so I'm done with the with um, this experiment. So um, I'll just go back to the interactive service broker. And then I could do anything I want to do, submit my lab report to my lab instructor. And I'll just sign out um, at this point. So this is the transient response um, experiments. Um, there are a number of other experiments that are available in this particular control engineering iLab. Uh, this was uh, this here we're doing speed control. We're controlling the speed and we're looking at the transient response of the DC motor. We could have also done position control. We could do modeling. We could do some robust um we could check the robustness of the dc motor we could do proper speed control and uh, so there are a number of experiments which are possible in this laboratory and i hope you are able to explore the lab if you have access to it and um just have fun in the lab thank you